welcome back to 3 Delirium. My name is AJ, and today we're going to touch back on a few of the practical prints that we made and showcased over the course of the past two months or so. Today we'll check on in, in on the, uh, the freezer drawer staple, the fixture in the bathroom, the switch lanyard holder, and last week's fridge wedge. Alright, so stay tuned and we'll see how some of the things are holding up. So first up, we have the fridge drawer, the staple that I use to try to hold together the freezer uh, drawer to uh, make sure that it doesn't get worse. Uh, it has surprised me. It is m potentially more solid than the unbroken drawer that is underneath it. I am shocked. I don't know if it's the materials we use, the PETG, or if it was the glue that was meant for holding together PETG and similar uh, polystyrene plastics like the one the drawer is, is made of. But it is quite robust and still going strong, even though it's been under extreme temperature conditions for the past however many weeks since uh, that video went up. For the fixtures in the bathroom, it has been a little dubious. Yes, it is technically still working, they are quite a bit more flexible than back when there were metal, solid, purpose-built fixtures holding everything up on the wall. But, they're still holding. The paint has not, uh, like, chipped or rubbed off just from being spray-painted. And it still works. Work, I'm going to put works in quote, because it, it does seem like if uh, the wrong stumble, or maybe even any day now, uh, might flex a little too much and just pop off. I don't think it'll break off. I think the plastic will just flex and it'll uh, just kind of come loose from the wall. But otherwise, it's working just fine. The drawer mounted switch lanyard holder hook I was super proud of on uh, the day it went up and it worked in that moment in the exact purpose that I was showing for the video. But since then has kind of proved to be less than practical. The hook itself is a little too small, so I'll, I will uh, get one switch lanyard holder thing to hang from it perfectly fine, but bumping the drawer in the slightest will pop it off, or if I don't cinch the little uh, button cincher tight to the hook, it'll just instantly come off anyway. So, my remedy for that was to make a new hook that, well, technically I had two new ideas. One that was one giant hook that should hold all four, all on one, that shouldn't have any problems, but I worry that the hook itself might be a little less durable than if we just made it a smaller hook. Like it could easily be caught on someone's hand as they reach into the drawer, or, or maybe just the wear and tear Leverage. Leverage is not on our side this time. Because the hook is so long, it could easily break. Therefore, I made a second one that had sh two separate shorter hooks on it that uh, easily could fit two of the lanyards on each hook, and I think that'll work just fine. The problem there is that they would be over top of each other, and I'm not quite sure. So, this might be one to put whichever I think might work the best into plan into use first and we'll see what how it goes and which one may come out on top and as soon as that one fails or breaks or such I have the other one to try to see if it works better but I think I'm going to start with the one big hook it would be the easiest to use and on the ends of each of these knobs I even put a little bit of a ball to reduce friction make sure nothing gets snagged or caught on it and finally we come to last week's fridge wedge which, in the moment, right away, worked like a charm. The door, when opened, would drift right back shut and it worked perfectly. Sad part is, a week's worth of opening and closing the fridge, jostling around, getting bumped. I think we even moved the fridge full tilt to, because it was too close to the one side of the uh, frame it's in. And they popped right off of each other, so there was not much friction between the two wedges that were needed. So one wedge was not quite high enough to get the job done, two was perfect. So I have one solution that should be pretty straightforward. 
a dab of super glue. This being the only thing that really failed on this project, the two separate wedges sliding around should fix it perfectly. Mission accomplished. Perfect. Four previous projects touched on, two fixes, two that didn't even need fixed, and here we are. So, practical prints can be practical in the short term, but also the long term. But checking back in to see how things are going is always a good idea to stay on top of everything. So if you like what we're, what we're doing here on Free Delirium, feel free to subscribe, comment, and like on the, the video here. If you are even more keen, you want to see something else that we're working on, you can check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash three underscore delirium. Soon there'll be a, a brand new big project coming there that I'm super excited about. I'm actually printing a few pieces for right now as we speak. And likewise, I've been starting to do a new uh, segment on our Instagram page where I showcase a model that I might have printed from Thingiverse and hopefully get that creator's creation uh, out onto another venue, just uh, for people to see. And from all of us here at Free Delirium, thank you for stopping by so we can all hallucinate about the uh, potential of 3D printing. My name is AJ, and I'll see you next week.